guys welcome back to another m crater lore video so today what we're going to end up doing is something a little bit different um i've had this request a few times for a tutorial i didn't think it was this complicated though uh there's a lot of different parts that i had to tinker with i actually spent a good chunk of the day uh, trying to figure this uh, new mechanic out but basically saving the inventory for the between two different worlds so basically um i would have an inventory for the regular minecraft and other dimensions and then one specifically for eldamore which or elden more i think i can't remember what i called it it's like either elder or elden i think it's elden more so uh it's the dimension that we've been working on um Basically, what you have to do is create, I believe, 41 um, item stack variables for each one of those worlds. Um, you only, thankfully, need um, one for the, uh, the biome that you're in and then the other biomes, including other mods. So this can be easily done by just basically setting all these and numbering them from 0 to 40, I believe I went to. Um, it will be explained later on. But basically, I'm using a persistent uh, variable item stack and then just listing the name and stuff. I got to uh, 40, um, I guess like 40 of them for each one if you're starting at 0. So... Uh, that includes the offhand, the armor slots, the actual inventory, the, um, I think there's like nine times four for that. So there's quite a few different slots that you need to take in consideration. Um, so basically I've basically gone ahead and added all these slots for the player persistent. And then we had something to work with, but then I had to like, once I got the, that part finished, I needed to figure out, okay, now that I got the that part done, how do I go about I implementing it? And it's a lot harder than I originally thought because um, I tried doing it when the player switches to the biome and that sort of worked, not really, but... I did see a little bit of results. The, the issue was I had no way to test if there was a what dimension they were in before that they switched, and I couldn't figure really a way out to go ahead and do that. And I'm like, okay, so that's probably not going to be an option. I mean, I sure possibly could have if I had more time to figure it out, but uh, I ended up going with uh, when a command is executed. So basically the way that we have our dimensions set up is when a player executes a command or we have our script teleport the player, um, I'm basically uh, switching the inventory over to the other thing. So I needed to create all these uh, procedures. There's one for saving, there's one for uh, replacing. So, and that's for both worlds. So there's four procedures and I needed to adjust our script that we basically send the player over to that other world when they kill a witch. So the important thing is uh, we needed to go ahead and uh, didn't need that actual procedure. I was That was from testing before, but um, I could use it over here, which would allow us to determine what world. And I'm just going to get the entity's current world and that will run on the update tick. I don't think I actually used that in the end. I might have ended up deleting it. Um, but I did need to call um, a couple procedures uh, for this particular one, which would basically save the inventory and um, basically write or replace the inventory as well. So eventually I want Elden more to be a dimension that you could go to after you've completed the quests and stuff but be locked there when you're actually in that dimension so this is where it got i started overthinking how to actually set up things i needed to go ahead and set all these procedures and stuff but then i'm like oh hold on a second uh, i just need it for the actual uh, sending of the entity because I'm not actually going to another dimension um, 
like back to the overworld with his command. So um, I'm not sure when I clued into that, but I I started messing around with some of the stuff. I'm like, uh, okay, this is doing that. And I just started thinking about how it was actually going and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, maybe this doesn't need to be in the middle there. I can probably tidy it up and put it at the top. And I'm like, okay, these are all those commands for generating the planks and stuff. And I'm like, okay. So I saved it for the time being. And then I went back over here and I'm looking at the script. And oh, I had to set up all the IDs and stuff for all the slots. It was really annoying. Uh, the offhand was took a little bit harder, more time to actually figure out because I needed to... Um, because naturally the slot is basically like negative 106 that's the slot id but m creator doesn't recognize that as the id for some reason so i am i'm not sure exactly what they're going by but i needed to run everything from a command right so that i knew i needed to do and from there what i ended up doing was i'm testing if the command contains the execute command the Tale of Biomes, Elden Moor, which is the dimension that I'll be basically doing. I needed to have in before that because that's going to um, tell the game that it needs to be in a certain dimension and it needs to have the TP command. So basically those are the three components that I basically went ahead and added and then I think I added one extra thing just to test if the biome the dimension that the entity is in is basically a certain one so basically i wanted to know if they're not in eldenmore uh which is kind of important like we needed to make sure that we weren't in that dimension and then i just copied that over and i made sure that we're in Elden Moor and we're not typing that command. So basically any other dimension that we're going out of, I want to make sure right now that we will go ahead and um, get those two things set up. So I could basically go ahead and um, basically allow us to switch out to a different thing. And I'm just passing over that command variable, that dependency. Uh, so it's a a local variable so it's a little bit more efficient for the procedure system so that was really important well not like it hugely important but it was important enough for optimization and stuff which is always something that I'm trying to work on for the mod and fix bugs and I've actually fixed a few extra bugs recently so um, all right so like basically I've just basically setting up the to save and replace methods uh, procedures and I needed to save that and then I went back to this procedure and I needed to take a look at how that was basically getting set up I'm like okay um, don't think we're actually using the variable for the top there and I'm just going over it one more time and I'm just like okay we'll copy that over or no uh, it was like I'll delete that and then we'll get rid of these not sure what I needed I didn't even need a thing but this is when I started cluing in that I didn't actually need it but I did know that I needed the script before the um, entity was teleported so once I set that up I was able to clean up the workspace a little bit more and I needed to set up uh, something really important actually there was the right the the offhand and because like i said before it didn't recognize negative 106 as an id for the offhand i needed to just create a quick system for the offhand slot so basically i'm just getting the item in the offhand and saving it that way and for adding it there's a block for that as well there you can just basically add some item to the offhand and i'm just using that and the uh, actual stuff that I had before so everything's set up like that and I needed to do it for the other procedure as well so the last four blocks there are the armor slots uh, those are the ones that I've saved in the thing that are always at the end for the procedures and stuff like that but um, yeah I needed to figure out where the block was I was kind of having a problem 
processing like where is it all right there it is all right so i just grabbed that and put it in and there we go it's all set up now and i just needed to test it in game and make sure everything was working fine on both scripts so right now i'm in the dimension i just wanted to uh, stock my inventory up with the with some items so i could basically test if teleporting to the the actual dimension would work so i just got the command prepped and then i could go ahead and start filling up my inventory with some armor uh some items and um just some general other things that i needed for testing this particular thing out so basically use the armor and i had a shield in the offhand because maybe sometimes people might have shields and I don't personally use shields. I'd rather get shot by skeletons and stuff, but that's okay. I'm not that hardcore of a like player, I guess. I, I'd rather build and farm, really. Like I like farming. I like the tedious processes of actually building and getting the resources and stuff like that. And things like the um, warden and stuff just makes it a lot more unenjoyable for me, which is kind of a downside because Mojang's more going towards a combat kind of method of the game and it's just it's a little bit too much for me which is kind of why I started working on this particular dimension because then I have full control over what I can actually implement into the dimension and stuff so I wanted to make sure that going between the two dimensions and yes the items are added back all in the same position that they were before um, now I just needed to test if um, Killing the witch would allow me to uh, do the same thing. So I needed to spawn her and basically go ahead and do some fast attacks on her and just see if the items are basically saved. Now, we won't be able to go ahead and come back to the dimension because it's basically locked, it locks us out from going back until we have future quests and stuff finished. But, um, we can see that everything is basically the same. We picked up some seeds and some dirt while we're teleporting in here, but that's not too bad. Um, yeah, so it's basically a completely new inventory system. And um, hopefully you learned something today and we'll work on something a little bit different uh, next episode. And that would have definitely killed me if I was in survival. <laughs> Anyhow, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.